Yeah, I was uh, diagnosed about nine months ago officially with uh, young onset Parkinson's. The end game of Parkinson's is no movement at all to where you just can't move, you're bound to a wheelchair, you can't do anything. But I, take, I have to take about between 16 and 20 pills a day to kind of get going. We progressed and tried different meds that didn't work and did things that didn't, um, didn't necessarily do as well, caused a lot of side effects. The doctor said it's time to um, proceed with brain surgery, which is um, the deep brain stimulation. And it's supposed to help, it'll help control the symptoms that allow the, to back off a little bit of the dosing um, so that you can kind of return to a normal life. My right, my right side is where the tremor is really bad. So you kind of hold um, your toothbrush down. You got to kind of pin your hand down and try to get the toothpaste on. It's you know hitting a moving target. Uh, when I wake up first thing in the morning, I have um, most days I have something called dystonia, which is where my feet um, basically they cramp up and turn inside. Um, you know, when I saw his tremors and, and different things like that. You know, there's times where I, I watched him try to pick up his newborn, and he just couldn't do it. Um, there are times where he was on different medications and he wasn't able to come speak to us. You know, he was laying on the bed just because he didn't feel well. And that right there was the thing that really did it for me. The thing that, that kills uh, like my wife is, is the thinking about the future. When you think about, you know, what it's going to be like when down the road if they have, they, they get married, you know, will you be able to walk them down the aisle kind of thing. It seems almost unfair to them that Right now, they've got a, a father that, you know, can't can't do what everybody else's dad, what everybody else's father can do. You, know, you hear about all these people that have all these different problems and needs, and you think, wow, wow, that, that really, that really, really hits me hard, and that's so, so, so bad, you know. But when it's your family, and when it's someone that you grew up with, and you loved, and you cared for, and somebody that, you know, was proud of you for the man that you were becoming, um, to see everything that he loved um, being stripped away day by day and um, just week by week, month by month, it really took a toll um, on me emotionally um, and physically for sure. Hi, my name is Kaylee Seawright. I'm currently serving as the undergraduate student body president here at Clemson. At Clemson, we know that our family atmosphere is very important and I could not think of a better family to support than this one here in our own community. If you're interested in donating, you can find the link in the caption below. That's what Tigers do. We help out our fellow Tigers.